welcome to www.smartkitprojects.com now the name of this project is rtc based load shedding management using arm 7 npc 2148 now previously we had made this project using pic microcontroller now this is a latest technology microcontroller which is called as arm 7 lpc 2148 now this project can be used for load shedding purpose I mean in the village still now there are load shedding uh, machines which are used to set up manually and to switch on and switch off manually. Now what this project will do just we have to uh, select the load and adjust the timing in this project and, uh, and we have to switch on this. So it automatically uh, switches on and off the selected load. So first I will uh, show you a uh, component what, what are used to make this project and later on I will show you a live demonstration of the project. So let's start. On the right hand side as you can see these are relays which are connected to the holder and a bulb which uh, are used as load in this project. Now as you can see this is a LCD. This is a Bluetooth module and this is as I told you is a ARM 7 microcontroller and this is a CMOS battery now why we have used this CMOS battery is for an example if there is a uh, if, if there is no power supply so it keeps on updating the time which is set by the user so uh, and it stores uh, the timing in its internal memory so even if there is a power off or there is no avail availability of power it keeps on updating the time to the microcontroller so that the load can be switched off and on on the time which is set and here is the power supply area so now i will show you a live demonstration of how the project works so first as you can see on the lcd here to set the clock time press c so now we have opened the application and now we will press c connect we will first connect it to the bluetooth module and by after connecting we will press c to enter the current timing so the current timing now is 6.23 so it will work according to the current timing and now it says to set the load time press A so now I have pressed A and I will set the timing for the first load so for suppose I will uh, I mean 6.25 for the first load because 2 minutes I will need to uh, set the timing for all 4 loads now for second I will use 626 so on 626 first will be switched off and second will be switched on on 627 see it will be switched off and 627 the third load Six twenty-seven. The third load will be on, and it will get off at six twenty-eight. And the fourth load will be switched on at six twenty-eight, and it will be switched off at six twenty-nine. Now, if we press E, the system will exit and start working. So. The current timing is 6.24 as you can see because we have set the timing according to the current scenario. So exactly on 6.26, 6.25 sorry, uh, the first load will get switched on. So let's wait for 30 seconds. Now as you can see on the LCD, to just keep track you can see all the four loads. Now they are switched off. Once the system will be active, it will show which load is on and which load is off. So after 5 seconds, the first load will get switched on. Exactly on 6.25, the first load has started and it will switch off at 6.26 and the, exactly at that time, the second load will be switched on. So let's wait for 45 minutes, seconds more. Now 
now here the load means the area supply i mean this loads here we have used so you can uh, say it a uh, area supply because this is a load shedding management system basically so we have uh, just for example we are using this loads you can say area supply or whatever and uh, here see exactly on 626 the second load is switched on and the first is switched off now after one minute this load will get switched off and the other load will should get switched off now as you can see load one on timing 625 off timing 626 so you can keep the it dynamically shows you the load timing of on and off timing of all the four loads i mean you can keep track See now it is showing load three on timing is six twenty eight and off timing is six twenty nine. So you can keep the track or on which timing the all the loads will get switched on or off. So it is a very fantastic feature that we have used. So that you can keep a track or uh, at your home also by just looking at the LCD. Now, as you can see, the second load is switched off according to the timing that we have set, and third is on. And here, as you can see, one, two is off, third is on because the third system is on right now. It is showing third on, and fourth is off, as you can see. Now, after 30 seconds, it will get switched on, and the third will, fourth will be get switched on. Five seconds remaining more. Yes, as you can see, on 628, the fourth load is on, and as on LCD also, it is showing fourth load on, and it dynamic, the it dynamically also show you that when will the load four will be switched off. See. On the LCD, off timing 629. This uh, project is very useful in today's technology uh, because in today one have no time to manually switch on and switch off the system again and again. And this is also very, I mean, uh, technology will also save your time and. Also, will solve your hustle and bustle in today's life. So, it is a very good system. So, as you can see, all the loads, I mean the area supply, have uh, worked exactly as what was shown or uh, said by us. So, thank you for watching the video, and very warm welcome from SmartKidProjects.com. If you like the video, please subscribe us. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.